This is Zandi, a 45-year-old teacher from Johannesburg. On her way from work one day, Zandi fell and broke her wrist. At first, she ignored her injury. It will heal eventually, she thought. But weeks later, Zandi's pain was worse. So, she went to the clinic to get help. Her doctor did a bone density scan, which showed that Zandi's bones were very weak because she had osteoporosis. Zandi was scared and confused. Aibo, doesn't osteoporosis affect only elderly white women? Zandi asked. Lots of people think this way. However, osteoporosis affects men and women of different ages and ethnicities. Called the silent crippler, osteoporosis causes a fracture every three seconds globally. And even though about 4 million South Africans over the age of 50 may have osteoporosis, most, like Zandi, only found out once they've had a broken bone. This is called an osteoporotic fracture. Osteoporotic fractures can make patients feel vulnerable, causing long-term pain, disability, and depression. Osteoporosis puts a major burden on our healthcare system. The cost of surgeries patients need to treat fractures are increasing every year. If Zandi had known her risk factors for getting osteoporosis, she could have had a bone density scan to help manage her bone health sooner. These risk factors include early menopause, a family history of fractures, medical conditions like diabetes, cancer, and HIV or AIDS, smoking, and excessive alcohol use. But it's not too late. There is still a lot that Zandi and others like her can do to manage osteoporosis. Osteoporosis patients can strengthen their bones and avoid future fractures by taking their prescribed medicine, consuming more calcium and vitamin D, doing exercise like walking, climbing stairs, or even gardening. Visit osteoporosis.org.za to learn more because your bones matter and together we can fight osteoporosis.